So I talk to your old castmates, every single one of them, and they're way in the door. And I talk to them before the show. Sherry Shepard I did a whole bit with, and then the cast I talked to, six people. And one word that they all, the two words that they use the most, here to support you and that you were all like family. So we spent five years together. I know. Like, yeah. I was there doing a panel discussion before the show ever went on the air when you guys were all getting to know each other. And what is it, what must it feel like to have six people from your past be here to say, we are with you every step of the way, brother? Um, well, first of all, uh, it's miraculous because it was five years where it was, it was, it was tough for me. It was the second time I did news radio where I played an office weirdo, and then then I was doing it again, and I I, I, I felt it was I felt weird about it, and I was in a weird place, and and I kind of put those guys through hell. I, I just I did, and and they were always trying to lift me up, and they did a lot, all of them, especially Sherry Shepard. She she kind of. Got every she did get everybody together and Eric Roberts' wife Eliza, and and to see them, it kind of made me scared to know they were there. My family's been there every week, you know, every week, last week, and this week. But to to know that they were there was a little bit nerve wracking. But then right when the dance was over, I was so happy they were there, and I cried. It says a lot about you that people you put through hell want you to do better than you've ever done in your life. Yeah. I can't believe it. Do you know there was an episode of Less Than Perfect where my character is a secretly an amazing ballroom dancer and I couldn't uh, do it and I, and I drank that night during the taping of the show. It was a disaster. Embarrassing and I was dancing with Andrea Parker who is a dancer by the way and uh it's not a night I'd like to. I don't even remember it. But you know what? What I, I'm watching your face because you you get it and you appreciate where he's been and where you're taking him now. So I mean, this dance tonight was wild. And it was so much fun to watch. And once again, the press room erupted. Thank you so much. Uh, I've said it before. This dance was inspired by. Andy, I let him have some creative uh, freedom this week. I like Andy. What do you think of this? What the would you do to that? <laughs> the demented worm that only it. made it to the package, um, but he went above and beyond in the hours that he put in this week for me. We really worked together on developing the character and sort of some of the moments that we had. Uh, it was a great collaboration this week, and I'm so proud of him. Some people have a hard time bringing out their personalities on this show, and the judges will say, "You've got to do this. We need to see more of you." We easily see you, and you enjoy. I mean, when you went through this part of her, <laughs> her idea, you'd think that was my idea. That's her idea. That was me. I wouldn't even ask to go under the dress. There's my no two art. favorite moments was yeah, that when he goes yeah. to the skirt, and the one where I've got him over. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Great moments. All Got to get the comedy in there. Yeah, yeah. So, Andy, if you get to come back for week three, tell me what changes about you personally since you got through the hardest cut of the season until the semifinals. I am a different person, and, I, I, and, and if I get, I don't know if you heard me, but when the dance was over, I said, can we be done now? Like, with this whole thing. It has been such a journey that if we do, I'm, I'm at peace with, if we get voted off, I'm completely fine with that. Because I'm a, the, I'm a different person. But we're whoa. still going to go to the top. We're still going to the top. Whoa. We're going, We're going to the top. We're going to the top. But it's been, it's so hard, and I've never done anything more difficult, and I'm changing inside and out every day. That's victory.